In this video, we want to look at this experimental activity, calculating two more radii. And so I will change that. It, I say two more radius, but it should be two more radii. And I'm going to go there. And the instructions for this is part one. We see we have our video, our experiment here. Um, but it's calculate the radius for the second piece of tape using video physics, graphical, and Microsoft Excel. Upload your video in your Excel spreadsheet. And then part two, calculate the radius of the rod using video physics, graphical, Microsoft Excel, and upload your video to the Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so that is what we're about to do. The experiment is right here. You just select on that. And you'll find it in Dropbox. It's the same video that we've been working with. So all you have to do is just download right here. And you can save it to your Dropbox. Okay. And so since I already have this video, I am just going to begin to track it. So it's our vectors experiment here. You might need to download it twice or do the experiment, upload your video, and then um, do it again. So let's see here. The first thing we want to make sure we have is our origin set at this pivot point and our scale set right here. So we want to go between 30 and 40. And I want to make sure that this is point. 10. All right. And then we want to go ahead and start tracking our points. So this is very similar to what we've done before. Okay, but this time instead of the first piece of tape, we want to go to the second piece of tape. Okay, I'm going to double tap in here. And then I'm just going to go, I'm going to start tracking this. So I'm expecting you to do the same thing. Now, I'm not going to go all the way around. I'm just going to go ahead and overlap this, these first points a wee bit. Okay. So I'll just stop right there. And so if I double tap, you guys will see a nice little circle there. So what we want to do is you definitely want to save this video with points. Again, in Dropbox. So make sure you take care of that, okay? OK. 
Okay, so and then we just go ahead and save that up to Dropbox. And it shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's see here. We would want that in our physics class. So in this particular case, this happens to be something like rotation. And uh, mm -hmm. rotation. Say done. It's creating the folder, and then let's create another one. And we're going to call this uh, Pythagorean's theorem. Okay, that didn't do well. Pythagorean's theorem. So it's saying and, and so we'll just save it there. Try to change the name a little bit. Rename. And so now that we have that, I should be able to go here and just save that into that location. Okay? So after you save it, you want to go ahead and get your data file. And we want to take this over to graphical. So in graphical, uh, we have this information. Then we're going to take this table. over to Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel, we're definitely going to convert and edit this. And you know that under Unit 1, we should have a new folder called Rotation and Pythagorean Theorem. We're just going to save that there. This is where your video should be as well. And so what do we need? All we will need in this particular case, we don't need time. We need our X, we need our Y, we don't need velocities. So we're just going to go ahead and hide time. And we're going to hide our velocities. So if we want to calculate the radius, we have to use Pythagorean's theorem. And Pythagorean's theorem is just going to be the square root of X squared plus Y squared. So this is going to equal to SQRT. Oh, I'm in the wrong uh, cell. So what are we calculating here? I need to calculate the radius. And so this is going to be equal to SQRT. It's going to be this squared plus this one squared and I'll just close that parenthetical statement there and we'll see that we have a radius of 0.15 for that first one but of course we want to fill and drag that all the way down let's keep doing that And now, you want to find the average of that. So let's call this average radius. And the average radius is just going to be equal to average of this number all the way down. So we don't have to select every number. I'll hit the check mark. So we have ourselves a nice average there. We can get about uh, three decimal places at this location. So let's go ahead and change this number from general to number, and then go ahead and put in three decimal places. So we have we have 15.3 centimeters. Okay or 1.53 meters. That's the first radius.